in the beginning days of me running the school for the blind, the officials came and asked me, who gave you permission to run the school? I said, do you need permission to educate the poor? Do I need permission to feed the children? But you need education to run a school. But I said, I am not running a formal education, I am running an informal education center. What will you do? You will shut down my school, I will take you to the court. Refusing to yield that tactic I adopted after seven years. Then the education minister, Mr. Ramlinger, interfered and gave me the <laughs> That's so how the school continued. Bhagavad Gita quotes 19. Refusing to yield to dualities is your sacred duty. Do it. Stay unmoved by them, or your mind will be in constant turmoil. Yes. The, what I said is formal and informal education center. Yes. Feeling the poor is set against the law of the land. Educating the poor is set against the law of the land. <laughs> I don't need permission to feed or to educate. I am running in formal education. That connects you. Right? Neither this or that. When you have got your strength to find out, then my children after reaching 10th standard. Most of them were already 25, 26, because they were stuck up in the houses for years together. They came directly when they were getting good. Anyway. So I said, instead of uh, writing the PUC, we directly go to open university. Till then, they, none of them knew what is open university. <laughs> yes, I registered them and they completed a degree post graduation. Now it's all stabilized. Refusing to yield to dualities is a sacred duty. Yes, that chanchala of this and that, neither this, neither that. Why that is happening? Because you have not been practicing your Sanskriti. You are not in love with your own self. You are not in love with your parents. And once the love is there, the smallest gap will not happen. The smallest gap is the chanchala, is the confusion. That is the one main thing that everybody should practice. What will be your Sanskriti if you don't have a Sanskriti? Never mind. I am teaching you morning when you get up. Yes. The same Sanskriti of putting the saliva into the eyes, drinking five glasses of water, brushing your teeth, taking your fingers to the, press the gums, rinse the mouth 18 times, nostril blow 30 times, 200 and stomach pumpings and loma below. Clean the house, sing the budget, create the voice chord to create an energy field and light the lamp. Kattal in the burning tamaso, Jodi Gumaya, from darkness to light. Yes, you have formed the truth, you have formed the answer. And in that particular, when you clean the house, you sing the song, you generated a power, a magnetic field, and magnetic field is getting ready. This great man starts opening up with the another biggest, deeper, the light that is the Surya, the sun. You look into the sun goddess and then stretch your hands in Surya Namaskar. That was Sanskrit, if you understood, you will fall in love with your land, fall in love with your old parents, fall in love with your wife or husband or children. That strengthens the family to connect to the joint family. When you see the truth. That is where you will have the power not to yield to pressure like this. Whether I want to go to this religion or that religion, whether I like this girl or that girl, that boy, refusing to yield to dualities is a sacred duty. Every child is coming and asking me, what should I do after my death? What should I do after my engineering? I'm confused, what should I do after my PUC? Why this? Chanchala, because the house is under Chanchala. Parents doesn't practice together. They are not sitting together to even eat food. They are not having the baths together. They are not even 
coming. We have to get every Sunday. The oil bath is very important. Everybody puts on the oil on the body massages. They, see, the massage is a beautiful art. And together they go to the field, together with all the spade and the pickaxe and the trimmer. And they create a beauty by creating the pedicure, pedicuring and manicuring the land and creating a beautiful out of the flower. If you know to decorate the plant, you know to decorate your body. You know to decorate your body. The whole world decorates you. You become an item. Then where is the tension, the Bhagavad Gita? Of course, refusing to yield to dualities is a sacred duty. Mind you. Your sister is a sister, your brother is a brother. No chanchala in that one. Once you know them very well, anybody in the world comes and tells you anything, you will not move an inch. The family is very, very important. Otherwise, in for five we not, you just have the chanchala. Once you have the chanchala, once you have the duality, if you do not practice and strengthen it up, then diseases happens. Poverty is thy name. Then people refuse to listen to you. Your, your whatever your language is not the gospel of truth. Bhagavad Gita says, do it. Stay unmoved by them. Yes. Like what I told Asha. Don't complain. Don't explain. You stay near the international airport, Asha. I'm giving you two. Success, two points to be successful. And she asked me, what is the two? I said, don't complain, don't explain. She went home and she did the same thing. And all of her sisters come running. She refused to complain, refused to explain also. She only calls them and says, how are you, my sister? When the sisters come, she go and hugs and kisses them. And they push her. And they came, they became lovers. There is no duality. The moment they ask, and you explain. The moment they say something, you complain. You are in a chanchal. Bhagavad Gita says, do it, stay unmoved by them. What would be the reason? Good or bad for a mother, the son and the daughter. Whether it's good or bad, it is the son. Yes. For now, all the gurus also. All the disciples, good or bad, it doesn't make a difference. Mother Krishna was asked, Why are you taking the money from the smugglers? She said, Smugglers, what are they? Who are they? Everybody comes in Jesus' form, everybody comes in God's form. How do I segregate them? That's the duty of the authorities. Yes. No, it's no reality. Who comes in, in our place, in our ashram, in our school is in God's form. That duality we are not. Every child who we admit to Rakum school is in God's form. We never look into them as girl or boy, upper caste, lower caste, or this religion. Once they enter, it's only our love. That duality. Do we see our mood by then? All the mind will be in constant turmoil. The moment you are, you are in constant turmoil because you move to this, to that, that, to this. Today you say, Oh, my Guruji is God. Tomorrow you say, He's devil. The mind will be in constant turmoil. That turmoil helps you to be in the hospital. That turmoil helps you to break down your houses. That turmoil is a war. You create the war. You ask for the war. Stick on. Yes. What of it? The sky falls on your head also. You stand like a statue. You stand like a statue. You will not move. That low will always grow because that neither this or that do it stay unmoved by them then you can see the bija the seed growing to become a huge big tree with beautiful leaves and flowers such as the beauty is you can see with your own eyes but the continuity is very important please continue doing your Exercises, your warming up exercises. Do not sit in one place for more than an hour. Keep on flowing water, fresh water, stagnant water stream. They say you sit in one hour, one place for more than an hour, you can get all the diseases, especially heart diseases, especially a cardiac arrest, a stroke. If that can happen, 
Then the stretching exercise, if you don't do what you can, can happen, do not do any work, no work, no food like that, no exercises means warming up, loosening up all your joints and doing a stretching, do not start any work, no work, no food. Refusing to yield to dualities is a sacred duty. Do it, stay unmoved by them, or your mind will be in constant turmoil. 